locking and unlocking or screw home mechanism under one minute. So to know this, we need to first clear two concepts. The first concept is that when femur is examined from an inferior view, lateral femoral condyle appears to be longer. But if we exclude the patellofemoral articular surface, then medial articular surface is more than the lateral articular surface. It also goes with the tibia too. The second concept is that if a cart, now here imagine the cart with the medial and lateral articular surfaces. So if a cart is provided with wheels of different diameters, it can never run along a straight path. There's need to have a coupled motion, that is combination of motion. Now in non-weight bearing knee with extension, as it progresses, the longer medial plateau continues to roll and glide anteriorly after the lateral plateau has halted. This forces the lateral plateau to rotate laterally. So in final 5 degrees of non-weight bearing knee extension, there is an obligatory lateral rotation or the spin movement of tibia on femur. Now this external rotation while the extension movement is also called as coupled motion. Now this obligatory lateral rotation is called automatic rotation or locking of the knee. Now at extended knee with that spin, there are three things happening. First, the tibial tubercles lodged in intercondylar notch. Menisci are tightly interposed between tibial and femoral condyles. Twisting of cruciate ligaments shortens their length and approximation of opposing articular surfaces. So this is the mechanism of screw home movement. Both of these are interconnected and one cannot happen without the other. So when there is locking, there has to be an unlocking and it starts with the initiation of flexion. So to initiate flexion, laterally rotated tibia cannot simply flex but medially rotate concomitantly. It is an automatic reaction as the longer medial side will move before the shorter lateral compartment. But current researchers say that popliteus muscle helps with this unlocking process. Now we talked about locking and unlocking in non-weight bearing knee flexion and extension. But locking and unlocking occurs in both weight bearing and non-weight bearing flexion extension of knee. In weight bearing knee extension, the freely moving femur medially rotates on the relatively fixed tibia during the last 30 degrees of extension and this is called locking and in case of weight bearing knee flexion unlocking is brought about by lateral rotation of the femur on the tibia before flexion can proceed so it is just the opposite rotation of non weight bearing knee flexion and extension that's 2 minutes of biomechanics for you see you in the next video